Do you know which American unit spent more time than any other in the frontline trenches of the First World War and suffered the most losses of any American regiment? It was the 369th Infantry Regiment, commonly referred to as the Harlem Hellfighters. They spent 191 days at the front and took 1,500 casualties. This fighting force was from New York and was initially part of the New York Army National Guard. They were called into federal service in July 1917 at Camp Whitman, New York, where they learned basic military practices. Once their training was completed, they were put on active duty, also in New York. They were split into three battalions and were assigned the role of guarding railway lines, construction sites and other camps throughout New York. As the Great War rolled on though, more and more soldiers were needed in Europe, and so in April 1918 they headed to the front. However, they didn't serve with their fellow Americans, because many of the American soldiers refused to perform combat duty with African Americans. Instead, the US Army assigned the unit to the French Army for the duration of the American participation in the war. They wore American uniforms, but were issued with French weapons, helmets, belts and pouches. The regiment made a great account of themselves in their time in the trenches, and they quickly earned a reputation as a fierce fighting force. How fierce were they? Well, here's one event recorded about Privates Johnson and Roberts. In May 1918, Johnson and Roberts fought off a 24-man German patrol, despite both being severely wounded. Johnson sent Roberts to warn the French units of the approaching patrol. But after the Germans opened fire, Roberts returned to join Johnson. They battled together until a German grenade incapacitated Roberts at which point Johnson made it his mission to hold the line and protect his fellow soldier. After using up all their ammunition, Johnson switched to grenades, and then when he ran out of those, he used the butt of his rifle, and then, when that was no good, he finished things off with a bolo knife. Reports suggest that Johnson killed at least four German soldiers, and might have wounded 30 others while sustaining at least 21 injuries himself. Johnson became the first American to receive the Croix de Guerre, but it wasn't until 2002 that he received a Distinguished Service Cross. And after some failed efforts, finally in 2015, Johnson received the Medal of Honor. Sadly, despite thinking that their war service would help dissipate discrimination when they returned home, many even feeling that it was a God-sent blessing so they could prove they deserved respect from their compatriots through service in the armed forces, this was not the case. They were, however, celebrated locally, and on the 17th of February 1919, when they returned to New York, they paraded victoriously up Fifth Avenue, displaying their decorated regimental colours to a crowd of hundreds of thousands. The parade continued north through the heart of Harlem, with the regimental band playing the whole way. When they entered Harlem, the wives, parents and children who were lining the parade route rushed to embrace their loved ones as they passed. Today, the regiment lives on in spirit and is still a part of the New York Army National Guard, and is now designated as the 369th Sustainment Brigade. They can trace their history all the way back to those trenches in the First World War. Trenches in which the legend was born. 